What is happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. And we've been demystifying or simplifying our motherboard. So today I'd like to talk to you about your Northbridge and Southbridge. And to basically break these two guys down for you, these are simply like, uh, I guess if you were to call it your motherboard's middle management, where they are not the boss, but they kind of the in between and make sure everything's in order. So our Northbridge and Southbridge are Northbridge and Southbridge. And pretty much every time you'll find that your north bridge will be closer to your processor than your south bridge because it communicates more with the processor than the south bridge does. And more common than not these days, you'll see a heat sink on your north bridge and your south bridge. Whereas previously, you really didn't see any heat sink or anything of recognizable heat protection on north bridge and south bridge. But with, new, with these days, you'll be looking at more what the north bridge and south bridge does so when looking for motherboards and things of that nature you can actually find what exact architecture this north bridge is using and what architecture this south bridge is using so when looking up your motherboards take note of that because you want to use the fastest north bridge and the best south bridge for your motherboard one other thing to take note of is when you're working with your computer and working with the north bridge and the south bridge you want to make sure be careful about touching these guys because they do have heat sinks, so they could be pretty hot. The north bridge will be especially hot if you're overclocking your computer because that's like it's first, uh, one of the first things it communicates with when talking to the whole computer. Although, Intel did develop a new type of architecture where their processor takes over most of the control of the north bridge. So, these technologies are changing, so you have to, so you have to take note of those when looking for a new motherboard to buy. So there you go, you now know what the north bridge, south bridge are and where to find them on your motherboard because when we're looking at this like, ah, what's everything? Well, I do know that we have a north bridge and a south bridge. All right, now remember, just click on one of the items on the motherboard to learn more information about that item. And like always guys, if you have a request from me, just send it on over to requests at mahalo.com.